Hi, my name is Steve Urbanek, former NFL Equipment Manager of the Year, and now Vice President of Elite Accounts here at Vices. Today, we're going to learn how to measure a player for the right helmet size and configure a Vices Zero One for a custom perfect fit. For best results, fit your player with a face mask already attached. If your player wears a cap or a headband, have them wear that during the fit process. To measure for the proper helmet size, you will need a standard paper or fabric tape measure. Using the tape measure, find the player's head circumference in inches. Ensure the tape measure touches the following points on a player's head while measuring. One inch above the brow line, a half inch above each ear, and the longest point on the back of the head. Use light pressure when tightening the tape measure. The tape measure should be in light contact with the head. Tightening the tape measure too much can result in a sizing error. If a player has thicker hair, compress the tape measure until feeling the hair push back or create resistance to the tape measure. This will serve as a good approximation for the fit of the helmet. Record the measurement and match it with the appropriate shell size in the table. If the measurement lands between helmet sizes, move to the next size up. The Zero One is configured using various size form liners, ridge pads, jaw pads, and a chin strap. In most cases, the helmet will arrive pre-configured with our standard build. Have the player put the Zero One on and pull it down until it stops moving. Check the initial fit by starting with the brow height. Rotate the helmet up and down while the player holds their head still. For most players, the helmet should sit approximately one inch above the player's eyebrows. The helmet shouldn't reach the player's nose, and the top bar of the face mask should not obstruct the player's line of sight. If this is not the case, adjust the ridge pad until satisfied with the helmet height. To do so, remove the ridge pad. Install the new ridge pad by snapping both connection points into the arch shell underneath the padding. Have your player put the helmet back on and recheck the fit. Next, rotate the helmet left and right while the player holds their head still. Pay close attention to the temple area. The liner should be snug against the player's head. You can check this by placing your fingers or thumbs between the liner and the temple. Ask the player if the helmet feels too loose or too tight on the sides. If the fit isn't right, adjust the side liners using the same process as the ridge pad until satisfied with the fit. Each side liner has four connection points. Note, there is a left and right side to the liners. Each liner will have an L or an R. Have the player put the helmet back on to recheck the fit. Check the fit on the front and back of the helmet by rotating the helmet up and down and left and right. The helmet should be snug, but not uncomfortable. Looking at this example, the player's helmet is fitting too loosely. Notice how much movement there is in the up and down motion and side to side. Look at the forehead for skin movement. The skin should move slightly when rotating the helmet. If the fit is too tight, replace the front to back liner with a thinner size using the same process as before until satisfied with the fit. Note that on the front to back liners, there are two Velcro and two snap attachment points. Attach the liner to the bumpers by wrapping the Velcro around the bumper until it is fully engaged on either end. Have the player put the helmet back on to confirm the fit. With the Zero One still on, hold up different jaw pad sizes to find the approximate thickness. Locate the two retention studs and align the jaw pad holes with the studs. Apply equal pressure until it clicks firmly into place. For best results, apply pressure near the edge of the jaw pad and not in the middle. Have the player put the helmet back on. Confirm the fit and comfort are unchanged. Jaw pads should be snug, but again, not uncomfortable. If you cannot achieve the correct fit with the liners or jaw pads you were provided, please contact Vice's customer support who will help you find the correct size. In most cases, the chin strap will be pre-installed on the helmet. You will, however, need to adjust your player's chin strap. 
Start by unbuckling all four chin strap locations. Have the player center and hold the cup on their chin. Estimate the strap length by adjusting each snap location. Start by moving the buckle along the strap until you find the correct length, then snap the buckle into place. Repeat this process for all four locations. Note that the top strap is rotated 180 degrees to pull the strap away from the player's face. Attach the snaps and check the fit. The chin strap should be snug, but not uncomfortable. In most cases, the face mask will be pre-installed on the helmet. To change out the face mask, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Using your screwdriver, remove all four screws and pull the face mask off the 01. Leave each of the four T-nuts in the helmet. If they happen to fall out, this is okay. Just place them back in their location before you install the new face mask. Attach all four face mask clips to the mask. Using your screws and screwdriver, attach the face mask to the helmet. Apply pressure to the back of the T-nut so that it does not fall out when attaching the screws. Ensure that all screws are tight, but do not over tighten. Have the player put the 01 back on. Check for visibility, comfort, and range of motion. That's it, you did it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us at voices.com for more information.